Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We are in Dallas, Texas at St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store, one of my favorite thrifts. They're gonna have lots of purses in here and jewelry, usually, at least in the past. So we're gonna head in here looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pack up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So hit that notification bell and click all so you don't mess out on my live buy it nows and auctions on my channel as well as these daily uploaded videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and a thumbs up. So this place here is not usually a hit or miss. They usually will have lots of stuff in here. So hopefully when we walk through those doors, we'll see the same thing that we have in the past. Which is normally lots of jewelry and purses. And it's true again. It's true again. Look at this, y'all. Have you ever seen so much So the Salvation Army in Dallas is a great one, and this store right here is probably pulling a close second, if not first, on the Salvation Army. We're gonna take a look at different things together. Let's see what they've got. I definitely wanna go through some of those purses. I don't think today is half off on purses and jewelry be awesome if it was but if it's not it's still awesome being in here now this is a beautiful look at that that is a beautiful seed bead the lighting in here could be better for the jewelry you can still see things So this bracelet right here, look at that. Might be brass with a little oxidation and kind of kind of like that one. Kind of might take a look at it. Have a faux arrowhead right there. This is looking like a Kendra Scott, does it? Does it not? Look like a Kendra Scott. So they have jewelry all the way around. One time I found a necklace in here worth $1,750. Runway piece, I still have it. Never put that up for sale on eBay. I need to show that on one of my short videos at some point. have some great wallets here. Here's a Radley London. Like it. Y'all like that one? Let's see what they've got here. I'm curious as to this croc I know, good. print right there. Looks older. Might be a crossbody. I see a long chain. We may check that one out. Tiger eye. Oh, this right here looks like Brighton, y'all. Look at this. I'm betting that's Brighton, so we're going to take a look at that one. We'll just an eyeball to see what we're going to check out. Now, I don't know if this is old or not. Let's see if we can focus on it. That rhinestone necklace right there. about this one right here it looks like it's missing something on the pendant but I wonder if that's a designer I don't know Let's see if we can see this this is their sterling section 
take a look at all of this. We don't have as much today as they normally do. Waterford Crystal Ornament on Sterling Silver. Take a look at these earrings here too. It's easier for me to look at things and try to figure out what I want to look at. Problem is, when you run off from the piece of jewelry you want, it's hard to find it sometimes. I like these cross earrings right here. These look like some sort of a painted seed. Man, these are pretty too, the stars. I totally mass missed this brass fish. I don't know if that's a brooch or what that is. Monsac, so Monsac original. Lime green wristlet. So a pen, this is really nice, it's not sterling, it's tempting. Pretty bright and pendant necklace. Look at that y'all. It's missing something. It's a beautiful piece but missing something right there. Chain looks to be in good condition. Banana Republic so it's not old. Pretty bracelet, gold tone, brassy look. So this has matching earrings. For some reason this just looks vintage to me. It's got pretty color to it. Here's the back of it so it doesn't look like copper. This bracelet's definitely not made in 1887 but I'm gonna show you why I say that. It's, it says Mark of 1887, but I don't know if that's from, a, like, mimicked after a, you know, after some pictures from that time. These look better than what I thought they would. Brass tone, very nice. Here's the back of them, so kind of hammered, I guess. I'm getting those. I like those a lot. Some Michael Kors. Snake style bag. Have y'all ever heard of that brand? See, I hear they used to have purses on the wall, but they don't really anymore. They're all behind the jewelry counter. Lauren Conrad. What is this baby right here? Oops. Rustic Town. Here's the brand on this an Ash Nil. Hey, look at this. Gold tone chain. Know nothing about it. Looks like it's in good condition. Looks like new. Inside is good condition too. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. Carl Lagerfeld. Ooh, is it or not? This is cute though. Not real, but it's real cute. 
Aldo. What is this? The sack. Kelsey Dagger. It's a good deal on that one. It's brand new. This is cutie potato right here. Totally missed this one. Looks like a Patricia Nash. It smells good. And it's not, it's Alexis David. So Alexis David made in Mexico. First time. I'm gonna go look around. What a kind of look around. Let's see what else they've got in here. A set of three of those. Pretty red tumblers. I always like looking at the glassware. They play that music loud. Loud. Four ninety nine each. We have lots of those. It's a cute happy birthday platter. Look at that. Put your chips and dip chi or dip in there, and your chips are on the side. Like I've said before, if you're looking for serving trays and everything, I would look at thrift stores. It's so much less expensive and beautiful. Look at this pie plate, y'all. You don't see meringue a lot anymore. Chocolate pie, my favorite. $9.99. Oh, I love this too. Love the Greek sculptures too. Oh, what is this? Look at this beautiful box.
I love little trays like this right here. time ago. So we found a few things in here, a few pieces of jewelry. Look at these. $3.49 each. Two sets. but a few pieces of jewelry so we're gonna close it out go to the next thrift store and thank y'all for watching and we will see y'all in the next video